In the last video, we learned how to use the fillet and chamfer tools. Today, we're going to learn how to use the loft tool. Okay, so you want to open your new file, start a 2D sketch. Usually, we've been using the XY plane. You also have the YZ, and for when I'm going to use a loft tool, I always like to do the XZ plane. So make sure you hover over that and click it. Okay, the loft tool is another way to make a shape 3D. So far we've learned how to use the extrude tool and that's um, the extrude tool will make the shape you know just go up or down or the symmetric. What the loft tool is going to do it's going to allow you to make different shapes as the base and then connect it by using the loft tool so you know you instead of having a cylinder or a rectangular prism you can have the bottom be a circle and the top be a square or a triangle or an octagon. It, it uh, lets you do some really cool things. So we're going to look at that today. First thing I want you to do, click the circle. And uh, something very important to remember when you're using the loft tool, always start at the origin, okay, or try your best to because it makes lining things up when you go to loft it together, it makes it much, much simpler. And it's a good reference point to use. So let's drag a circle out. Let's dimension that and make it uh, let's go with four inches. Okay. And instead of hitting front, notice how I'm hitting top now because we're in a different plane. So we've got a four inch circle. We would right click finish 2D sketch. If I wanted to extrude it, we could do that here just to give you an example. We're not going to do that, so hit cancel. That's how you make a shape, an extrusion. It would be a cylinder. We're going to do this a little bit different, so hit cancel. Come over to your browser here. Hit this plus sign to the left of the origin, and now it shows you your different planes. And we're sketching on the XZ plane. I want you to click that, and then click this plane button up here. We're going to make a new work plane. And some people have some difficulty with this, so make sure you do it correctly. Go to one of the corners here, click and hold, and drag it up. And you can see that inch is changing. Here it's one inch. When they're overlapped, it's zero. Okay, drag it up, and let's make it go up three inches. So put three in. Hit the check to say OK. And now you can see a new work plane hovering above it. Okay, we can't see the full plane, so click the house button, and now it's going to zoom that out. This is where we're going to make our new work plane. We're going to make a shape here, and when we use the loft, but the loft feature, it's going to connect them. Okay, so if you read that, it creates a transitional shape between two or more sketches. And how it's different from an extrude and extrude, you can see the circles are different shapes okay and then you can do some really cool stuff with this okay if you want to make a band instrument or you know this looks like something you would hang a code on maybe and you're on the door um, you can do a lot of cool stuff so we have a new work plane you can see that over here it's work plane one I want you to hit start 2d sketch and this can be tricky you can't just click anywhere on here you have to hover over it and when you see those words work plane one click that now we're working on this work plane you can still see your circle behind it but we're not writing on that same plane we're above it now by four inches okay so now let's put a rectangle here okay and let's make it this way Let's make this a two by two square. So two inches here, two inches here, and we've got that. Now you can see it's not centered with the origin. Okay, um, you've done the constraints video, so this is what when I told you we will use the constraints sometimes. It comes in really handy. Let's do a horizontal constraint. 
we want the origin to line up with the midpoint of this line and the midpoint of two inches is one inch so I click that and it moves it down it's centered okay I want to do a vertical constraint with the midpoint and the origin I think we already did that just the way we created the shape but just to double check it and it moved it to the right just a little bit so now I've got a square on top of this circle in my new work plane so I'm going to hit OK there if I hit the house you can see it's above it okay this work plane we don't want to see it all the time so you go over here work plane one in your browser right click that and you see some different things visibility is checked we're going to click that and turn the visibility off and now we just see our two sketches in separate work planes okay so we've put one above it we're also going to put one below it it's going to be the last part here so right click finish 2d sketch just like you did for this to create work plane one you're going to hover over it click on your XZ plane choose the plane button click and hold and drag this time we're going down notice how the numbers are negative if we want to make another work plane above here we could do that we could make one to the left or to the right and eventually you will um, let's make this one go down negative 2.5 inches so two and a half inches and it's moved down there okay you can't see the whole thing uh, go over here to your cube click on the house and now if I hover over that this is work plane 2 so to get draw on it start 2d sketch make sure you see these words they're red on mine depending on your background color they could be green or blue just make sure you see those words click that and now it flips it now it's pretty tricky we've got a circle a square and we're gonna make another shape here this time let's make a triangle so go down to polygon a triangle has three sides start at the origin again always a good thing and let's make that about that size hit done and I'm gonna add a dimension just on the bottom here to make it one and a half inches 1.5 okay so this is gonna be below it the circles in the middle and the squares on the top to make that look right hit the home button we want to get rid of this work plane too we don't want to see that okay so right click over here and hit OK right click on work plane to turn visibility off and now you can see we've got three shapes lined up we're going to use the loft tool in just a second to put them together okay adding dimensions very very important notice how that origin lines up with everything okay if my square was over here circle here and my triangle here it wouldn't look right okay for what we're trying to create so make sure you use that origin as a reference point point that's very 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 important okay so right click finish 2d sketch you may be on the sweep or coil or something like that if you are just click down here it's right beside revolve choose the loft button and now you're going to put it together we're going to use the rails okay you can also do a center line or an area loft um, we're going to do the rails right now so let's start with our first sketch sketch one we click it it turns a different color sketch two and watch them connect together it tapers in instead of if we would have extruded it that we would have just had a circle the same size it would have been a cylinder and then we're going to hit sketch three okay and then it kind of makes it connect together then once we do that we hit OK let's go ahead and change the color so we can see it a little bit better and let's make it a welded brass okay it looks pretty cool um, and you can kind of hover it around the top of it it goes in you can see that square the bottom you have your circle and then you have your triangle at the bottom okay so that's a loft tool does some pretty cool things um, 
lets you make some odd shapes that you couldn't normally make if you were just doing multiple extrusions. Okay, um, hit the home button there. And this tool, you're going to practice with it and make different shapes. Um, it's one of the more creative things you can do in Inventor and get into separate work planes, uh, pretty advanced stuff. Um, that means you're coming along really well if you've made it to this lesson. So let's, we always want to save it. So file, save as, make sure you choose your inventor folder. And it should have your initials and drawings. Don't save it to the desktop or anything like that. It's going to be Mr. V Lesson 7 Loft. Make sure you save that. And you will practice making some with different shapes. Okay, you're going to do a project later where you're going to make your own shapes instead of we did the circle, triangle, and square, you're going to make your own shapes. Okay? So that's a good stopping point for this video and you've learned how to do the loft tool. Uh, soon you're going to learn how to use the sweep and the coil and the revolve as well. So this is a good stopping point. Until next time, have a good day.